Well, Hurricane Lane has given rider William Buick his second Irish Derby following a victory of Jack Hobbs back in 2015. William, well done. Good performance by this horse. Thank you, yeah. Fantastic performance. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's improved. He's improved horse um, from Epsom. And uh, yeah, look, it's, it was a great performance. You know, the, the horse that finished second got first run and stole a bit of a march, you know. Um, but once my horse levelled out and, and sort of got his momentum going and picked up, I always felt like getting there, although it was, wasn't was the big margin, it was a short margin, but he, he gives you plenty of confidence, this horse, um, and I think he's he's probably still learning, mm. um, you know, I think that the track suited him, um, and the ground the ground was beautiful, good ground, which suited him as well. Um, look, I, I thought it was a good performance because, you know, he, 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 he is a horse who stays well, um, but today he, he really quickened up well, uh, and really picked up well to... To, to run down, um, you know, the long-time leader who, who, you know, frankly got first run. There's, there's no, uh, no, no doubt about that. And uh, talks through the preliminaries because I just remarked when he came by me, it was very taken when he was picking the paddock for me. Had he come forward physically since Epsom when he got on him? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Charlie obviously was very happy with him, and everyone at home had been delighted with him. And I rode him in the week, and you know, he's a horse who stands out. You know, he, he's beautiful-looking horse. He's very, very calm. Got a great nature, great mind. Um, and you know, you saw him here today. He looked absolutely a picture. Um, and, and you know, you know, when they walk across the track uh, to the mile and a half start here, you know, a, a lot of horses can 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 lose it a little bit. They can get a bit hot. They can uh, it, it it can be a, a, a tough um, tough walk to the start mm. for them. And uh, you know, Hurricane Lane just took it all in stride, as if he's you, you'd think he was trained here. You know, um, mm. he he walked the whole way there and. He, he just um, he, he's just a horse with, with a great mind and obviously um, blessed with ability as well. He is indeed and uh, just to race it looked like they went a solid gallop but Frankie sat up, sat up second or third with the pace so was it that strong a gallop or did he just find out the rest of them? I, I thought the first couple of furlongs were strong then Frankie got in the position where he controlled the race and, and I, I, I sort of had a had an opportunity to, to follow him um, but I was going to get into a bumping match because mm. um, horses don't like to be three wide round here. <laughs> and uh, I thought, well, I better, I, be, I better get my horse in the rhythm. And, and we sort of, we, we were happy where we were. My horse was in a good rhythm. But, you know, Frankie did control the race from where he was. And when he kicked, he left everyone else for dead. Mm. Um, and down the hill turning for home, my fellow was getting organised. And once he levelled out in the straight, he, he picked up really well. Very honest, genuine horse. Um, and... You know, look, it's it's a great it's a great credit to the team at home. Um, you know, I'm in a very privileged position to be riding these great horses, and obviously, you know, Charlie Godolphin and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed this year have had a, you know, an, an Epsom Derby winner. Now they have an Irish Derby winner, so um, great great to be part of it. Yeah, huge year for the team, and uh, Charlie Appleby is great at progressing horses. Yeah, fantastic uh, trainer. Obviously, I've been very fortunate enough to work closely with him now for 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 a number of years, mm. um, and you know, he. he He's obviously a great trainer. That's that's there for everyone to see. But from a jockey's point of view, he's um, he, he's one of the best in the business to ride for. So, um, yeah, like I said before, you know, I'm I'm certainly in a very pri privileged position. And looking ahead to the Ledger, do you think that's an option for now? Charlie is speaking to him. He said yeah. Adi R would see what happens with him in the King George, etc. But two furlongs further for this horse would that be? I don't know. That potentially would stretch him. He's not slow mm. as we saw there today. He 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 showed a different quality today that he hasn't shown in the past before. Uh, he quickened up. Um, I, I don't think they'll be rushing to any big decisions just yet. I think they just let the dust settle and I suppose enjoy today and you know we'll see we'll see what the what, what tomorrow and the day after brings and, and uh, make a plan. Twenty twenty one is going good so far. Yeah, keep it going hopefully. Excellent excellent listen, thanks very much. Thank Great you very much for you. Thank you. Thanks.